Hello everyone, what is up? RTG here with another video. And today I'm gonna be telling you all, I'm gonna be showing you all how to do hitboxes. Um, this is a continuous version of my other video, which is like how to make a platformer. This is video two of three. Um, but anyways, the reason why hitboxes are so important is because, well, stuff like this can happen. Like I'm getting stuck because of my ear. And if I like restart this, I will sometimes like I'll sometimes like get stuck with my whisker. If I can. It's just it's just really hard to con like this. It's just really hard to control. So the reason why hitboxes are so important is because it will only like move the parts that are important, such as like the legs or something. It won't like the the whiskers and stuff and the face, the, the tail. It won't it won't be a problem at all. Which is why hitboxes are so important. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go into the player sprite and we're gonna have to go into the costume thing. Uh, this is the old costume that I used for before. But anyways, so <clears throat> uh, it doesn't matter what we use, but we're just gonna have to make a box. Why well, I want this close? Okay, we're gonna have to use the box tool, and we're gonna have to like try to make. You can like zoom in if you want to, but it's like. To try to make it so that you only like get the important parts. You can also like edit this, so it doesn't have to be like mine. Ah, okay, wait. Kind of like this, right? <clears throat> Actually, I would shorten it just so the ears would. Yeah, okay. And what you're able to do is you're able to adjust it a little if you need to. So that's our hitbox. We're gonna center both of these. Both of them. They both center. Okay. <clears throat> now what we're gonna wanna do, we're gonna wanna grab this. We're gonna wanna press. Con we're gonna wanna copy it, right? And then we're gonna go into a new costume, and uh, well, pr uh, paste it. Sorry, I forgot the word. After that's done, what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna delete the square here. And we're going to grab the scratch cat. We're gonna copy him. We're gonna make a new sprite. This is gonna be our like fake player. And then paste it here. Paste the character here. Uh, I'm gonna change my size because it was really big while <laughs> I was trying to make the intro. So uh, that's why I changed the size of 50. You can keep yours at 100. Anyways, so what we're gonna have to do after that, we're gonna delete this costume. So this is the costume that's always gonna be playing. And go into the code here. When green flag clicked, forever go to uh well player. You can rename this to hitbox if you really want to, but yeah. So go to hitbox. And then what we're gonna have to do here is when green flag clicked, set ghost effect to 100 this will make it completely invisible but like it will still be able to move around so it won't be like it won't be like uh like a like the hide the hide will just make it so that it won't be there at all this is really bad i'm shortening it a little bit just so it can fit through there yeah that should probably maybe be good okay so now when i move around I don't get stuck on stuff like that anymore. Oh wait, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Just to make it better. Grab these, I'm just gonna put them here. Ah, put it in the wrong thing! Oh wait, maybe I didn't. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> uh, if you want to, this is completely optional. Uh, if... I'm lagging a lot. If key... Like D pressed and A pressed. Key A pressed. Point in direction. And also, don't forget to change this to left right. Otherwise, it would look really wonky and it wouldn't work. Okay, so now. Whenever we move, right, 
it will turn around when we use it, right? And we won't get stuck on with our like on our whiskers or anything, right? So we're able to like move around. I'm lagging a lot for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. We're able to just move around. And if we fall, we won't get stuck. And we're able to pass through. So this is what hitboxes are used for. Uh, this is gonna be really useful for the um, next video. Which is how to actually like animate this. Now, I'm gonna be using Girth Patches Cat, right? Because I can't find any other animated thing, but... Um, yeah, once, <clears throat> once, once you have the hitboxes, you, you won't get stuck on, like, your, like, basic stuff, like your whiskers or anything. You, you'll be able to, you'll go through it, and you'll be able to just go like usual. Yeah, um, that's it for this video. Again, if you want to do the next video, this is really useful for, like, if you're, if you're, like, an if you're using animations, this can be really useful because let's say you're car if you're not using a square then it, it can get stuck <laughs> on a lot of stuff just like how this cat could, got stuck on its whiskers but now it doesn't um but yeah that's it for this video um i'll try to upload the next one soon and i'll see you all in the next one bye